Storybox presents Alphabet Battle. A long, long time ago, people spoke, but they didn't write. There were no written recipes for chocolate cake, no storybooks or shopping lists. Then a time came when people decided they needed to write. They invented letters and gave each one a name. Then they said, "Now let's put them in order so that children can learn them when they're old enough to start writing." They decided to get the children and the letters together so they could choose the order themselves. P said, "How about having a picnic?" B said, "With biscuits and brownies." Everyone sat in a big circle on the grass. But then Z pushed to the front and said, "I am the most beautiful with my zigzag body. I should be the first letter in the alphabet." The other letters shouted, "You're too vain. There's no way you can be first." Then they all started squabbling. The children were surprised. This was a bad start. At last, A stammered, "Attention, please, stop." You'll hurt each other. The grown-ups shouted at Zed. That's enough, you zany Zabaglioni. I inquired, What does Zabaglioni mean? S, the scientist who knew everything, said to I, You're so ignorant. But the children all cried, We don't know what Zabaglioni means either. There's nothing wrong with not knowing, so the grown-ups explained. The baglioni is a frothy egg dessert, and you, Zed, will be the last on the list because you're so vain. I'll zap you all! Shouted Zed. Then Y cried, "I should be the first on the list. After all, there's a Y in joy." The children cheered, "Yippee for Y!" J said, "But that's just not right. I'm the beginning of the word joy, so I should be first." O said, "O waddling over, but you're also the first letter of the word jealousy, and that's not very jolly, is it?" Then all the letters started quarrelling again. A said, "All right, stop now, please." The grown-ups grumbled, "Silence, or we'll never get this job done." The letters quietened down, but now the children were angry. They said to the grown-ups, "It's normal to argue. You just can't stand any noise or fuss. You're no fun." And they turned their backs on the grown-ups. In the quiet, W whimpered sadly. He said, "I don't mind not being first on the list." But please don't separate me from my dear old V, because, because we're so alike. W was so sad that everyone cried. Then V said, "Don't worry, my dear W. I need you too. We'll stick together." The letters chorused, "Well done, V!" The children cried, "Well done, W!" Then M stood up in the long grass. He gently nudged S, who was snoozing, D, who was dreaming, and R, who was resting. M looked marvelous. He smiled and murmured, "Wouldn't you like to start the list with the first letter of the word mother?" Everyone, or nearly everyone, agreed. It was a miracle. The children all smiled, but then. P poked his head up above the tall grass. He looked peeved and was pouting. What about puppers? He pleaded. Aren't they as important as mummers? What a pest that P was! The children answered, probably. Everyone was so confused. Suddenly, 
T trotted over and said, Tut, tut! Now listen to me! I'm timid, I know, and a bit of a tease, and I trip and tumble all the time, but I truly, truly want to be at the top of the list. The adult said, Terrific! You can be first. You're also the first letter of the word time, which is very important. The grown-ups were happy, but the children shouted, No, no, no! We don't want anything to do with time at the top of the list. When we go fast, you tell us to take our time. When we go slowly, you tell us we're wasting your time. Seriously, if you choose T, we'll refuse to learn to read. The grown-ups said no more. Finally, B broke the silence and said, well, what about A? A for affection and appreciation. Isn't that what we all need? The children cried, Hurrah! The grown-up said, Oh, dear B, you're the best. You will be second and the list will be called the alphabet. The other letters were angry. What about us? What order should we go in? The children said, We have an idea. Then they all stood in line, one behind the other. First there was Alice, Adideo and Alfredo. They held up A and shouted, A! Bianca grabbed B and the children cried, B! Celeste and Chang were next with C. Daniel with D. Ashana and Erin with E. And Farida with F. Gautam and Gavril grabbed G. Haruki had H, and Ibrahim had I. Jason, Joe and Jaffrey were next with J. After them, Kevin had K. Lucy, Leah and Lee held their lovely L. Megan and May had their merry M. Then came Nadia with her nice little N. Oscar clutched O. Pablo and Padma had P, and Kwang had Q. Rosie and Richard raised their R. Sima Sakina and Skye had their sweet S. Tamaz took T, and Umram had U, and Venus had V. Winter walked with W, Zander with X, and Yasa with Y. Last but not least, Zainab and Zack zigzagged along with Zed, who wasn't very happy. So everyone cried, Zed, to cheer him up. Ever since then, the letters have stayed in the alphabetical order that was chosen on that great day long, long ago. The end.